In this video, I'm going to bust five of the most popular print-on-demand myths. Let's go. Thanks for joining me on this video. This is Juno with Detour Shirts, the channel all about helping you design and sell t-shirts online. If that's something you like to do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you can see all the videos that I have for you. So in this video, I'm going to talk about five of the most popular print-on-demand myths. You're going to want to stay all the way to the end to see all of those myths, as well as another edition of Trend Credits. So let's get right into it. So myth number one is print-on-demand is quick and easy money. So I think a lot of people go into print-on-demand thinking that they can get in here and they see a lot of people making a lot of money and think that they can just jump into print-on-demand and start making that kind of money right away. Well, the truth of it is print-on-demand is actually very slow at making money. It's because those that are making lots and lots of money on print-on-demand have lots and lots of designs that are ready to sell. And so, of course, it's going to take you some time to ramp up to get all those designs online not to mention to learn how print-on-demand works and where your design will sell the best. It is a good way to make money, but it's also a very slow way. It's not something that you will get up and make $1,000 in a month right away. So here's an example of what I mean. You can see here I started a Merch by Amazon in June of 2017, and I only got six sales that month. So I think two of those sales were actually sales that I purchased myself. And then the next month you can see I made 31 sales. And then the next month I made 120 sales. So you can see it was a little ramp up, but the first three months were very, very slow. In fact, the first five months, six months, it wasn't anything near what I have today on what I make today. So it's something very slow and gradual. So I don't want to discourage any of you that are starting print on demand, but your first few months will be very slow and you'll probably make very little money and I know that's discouraging, but if you keep at it like anything else, consistency over time, it will pay off. So myth number two is print on demand is only for designers. And that's totally not true. So print on demand is not just for designers, although designers do have an advantage in the beginning. But just because you're a designer, it doesn't necessarily mean you know how to design for t-shirts. You may know good design and that really helps, but it still will take you some time to learn how to design for t-shirts or for other products that are on print on demand. And design is only part of the print on demand combo that you need. You will also need to know how to do research, how to market your stuff. So some of those business skills will come in handy in the long run. So if you're not a designer, you could actually find designers for your t-shirts on places like Fiverr or other places where people actually would do the design for you and you can buy the design and then put them up on print on demand sites. You could also start off slow and do text designs and learn design as you go. So that myth about print on demand being just for designers is busted because Lots and lots of people I know that are not designers do very well on print on demand. Myth number three, print on demand is passive income. Well, it is and it isn't. Let me explain. So it all depends on what you consider passive income. So most people think passive income is something like stocks where you put a lot of effort or buy something in the beginning and then it will just keep making you money day after day, year after year, and you don't have to do anything else with it and don't touch it. Well, print on demand is kind of like that, but not really. You can put up a t-shirt and it will make money for you, but it will eventually die down. And the same thing will happen if you put in a hundred t-shirts or a thousand t-shirts. Those t-shirts will make you lots of money, but eventually everyone that wants those t-shirts will buy it and then they have it and they won't buy it anymore and your money will start dwindling away. So let me show you what I mean. If you look at this chart right here, you can see that it goes up and then it eventually comes down. And that's exactly what will happen for every t-shirt. Some t-shirts will stay up for a long time and maybe just make a few sales and other t-shirts will come up and down like trends, really hard trends will just spike up and not sell at all. So the only way for you to continue to make good money is to continue to add more and more products to print on demand. So it is not exactly the passive income that you're thinking. It does make you money while you sleep, which is really good. 
because it can make you money while you're doing something else, while you're on vacation or at another job. So in that way, it is really nice. But eventually, your money will dry up if you don't continually add stuff. Just like if you were on YouTube. If you decided to put lots of videos up, maybe 100 videos, people would watch it. But eventually, everybody that wanted to watch those videos would stop watching. And then you wouldn't get any views and no AdSense money. Same thing would happen with t-shirts. So you will have to continually add more and more products that will make you more and more money so that you can continue to get that income. So not exactly passive. So this myth of print on demand is passive income, not exactly true, but it does make you money while you sleep. So that's a great thing. So myth number four, print on demand is a numbers game. So print on demand is partly a numbers game, but that's not the whole game. So for those of you that think that I'm just gonna add hundreds and thousands of shirts online and I'm gonna get lots of money for it, that's not exactly true. So this is only assuming that your designs are good and they will sell. If you can put hundreds and thousands of t-shirts that sell, then you will make lots of money. So don't forget about that part. So let me show you what I mean. So it's like this. If I just put words on a shirt like this and I made a shirt for every word in the English dictionary and uploaded that to print on demand sites, do you think those are gonna sell? Of course that's not gonna work because most people aren't gonna wanna wear these t-shirts and so you'll get no sales. And having 100,000 shirts online with no sales still gets you zero money. So don't forget, you need to upload designs that sell. So instead of focusing on just the numbers and uploading as many designs as you can, make sure to design shirts that you think will sell. Use data and use research and design something that people will actually want to wear. So that's very important. And when you can figure those things out, then it's a numbers game. Then put as many designs that will sell. And of course, having 100 t-shirts that sell is better than 50 t-shirts that will sell. So it is a numbers game, but a numbers game for t-shirts or whatever products you have that will sell. So myth number five is all print-on-demand sites are the same. So I wanted to mention this one because there's so many print-on-demand sites on the internet right now. And because of that, you may want to try every single one, but not all of them are the same. So you might want to do your research first. So what I would suggest actually is to f do the research and pick maybe three, four or five print on demand places and put a hundred designs on each of them and figure out which one does the best for you. So here's some of the print on demand sites that I use. I use Merch by Amazon, Redbubble, TeePublic, Spreadshirt, Cafe Press, Zazzle, Design by Humans, I also use a few others, but these are the ones that are some of my top sellers. So the reason why I wanted to bring this myth up is because I think for a lot of you that are starting out may think, well, I'm doing really well on one. If I just put it on everything, I should get 10,000 here and 10,000 here and 10,000 here. That's like $30,000 every month. Well, the reality is you'll probably do really well on a couple of them and not so well on the others until you figure out what sells best on each one. Each one has their own strengths and weaknesses, and some things sell better on one platform than the other. So you can't just put the same things on every single POD site and expect the same results. It's still a good idea to put all your stuff on all the different print-on-demand sites, but you may not get the same results. So for me, Merch by Amazon works the best for me and my style, but it may not work the best for you. So you're gonna wanna try different print on demand sites and see which works the best for your style. Maybe you're an artist and Redbubble works better for you. Maybe you're more into pop culture and Tee Public works best for you. Maybe you design like what people want to buy on Amazon and Merch by Amazon works better for you. So you need to try it out. That's why I suggest put a hundred different designs on each of these print on demand sites and then you can get data back and figure out what's working best for you. So those are the five myths that I wanted to share with you today. My hope was this video was really helpful for those that are just starting out that maybe hear some great stories on how awesome print on demand is, and it is, but don't believe all the myths that you hear. It is something that takes a lot of time doing, a lot of research, and figuring out what works best for you. Of course, consistency really helps. 
Let me know in the comments if there's some other print-on-demand myths that you want me to bust. I'll answer them in the comments. Thanks so much for staying all the way to the end, and your reward is another edition of Trend Credits. Thanks for staying all the way to the end for Trend Credits. Here is your trend. Free hugs, just kidding, don't touch me. So you can see here, free hugs, just kidding, don't touch me. Look at these BSRs, wow. I wonder if this is for family gatherings or other kinds of gatherings. Makes a really good Christmas present, I guess, too. So it's kind of like a gotcha, I'm not hugging you, don't touch me kind of thing. So let's see on the Merchant Former, it is getting an A, of course, competition checker. If you don't have Merchant Former, I have a link in the description, of course, for this Merchant Former, or you can check competition and some of these other things. So A means go for it. So just to see right here again, free hugs, just kidding, don't touch me shirt. You can do this in a lot of different ways. The thing I like about this one is they're mostly text shirts. I mean, there's a couple with unicorns here, but you could use other graphics. Uh, there's a dragon, but for the most part, this would be an easy one to break into because you could do your own style. So this is a really good one to get into right now. So free hugs, just kidding, don't touch me shirt. That is your trend. Thanks so much for staying all the way to the end. If this video gave you some value, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you like this video. That really just helps the algorithm and YouTube. And if you're not subscribed already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for staying till the end again. And as always guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one.